What's going on everybody? It is your boy Bad Dog back with a uh, quick lunchtime video. Just want to give an update in case you guys didn't know or whatever. I kind of found this interesting, well not interesting, but you know, some, some roster moves the Giants made they, uh, on the practice squad. Anyway, they released uh, Alex Bachman and he is no longer on the practice squad. The New York Giants uh, did bring back Derek Dillon to the practice squad. This was a guy out of LSU. They ran a 4 2 8 40. Obviously, uh, you know, you cannot teach speed, man. You either have the speed or you don't. They bring him back. I don't know what this means for the New York Giants. I don't know if he'll actually make the team. But again, this is a guy that may be able to do something special on special teams. Maybe he becomes a kick returner or a punt returner. Who knows? Uh, I don't really know a lot about Derek Dillon. I know he sat behind Justin Jefferson over there as well as De uh, Jamar Chase for, for years uh, over there at LSU. I know my man Goose mentioned that you know Derek Dillon is a really good talent but never really got a lot of playing time over there. I always thought that with a guy like a 4 2 you could kind of use him the way a lot of teams try to use Tavon Austin. Obviously, Austin ended up being a bust. He was the ninth overall pick for the Rams. But again, a guy that can run a 4 to 8 there's just a lot of things I think that you could do with him. Obviously, him being undrafted has a lot to do with his raw skill set, but I think that Joe Judge and company wants to teach these guys. Perhaps you can find a way to get Derek Dillon on this um, on the roster and maybe use him for something. You know, like I said, if it's special teams, if it's a bubble screen, if it's whatever it is, kick returns, punt returns, something, uh, you can't teach that speed. You either have that or you don't. So obviously Derek Dillon, a, a very fast receiver out of LSU. The Giants bring him back to the practice squad, which leads me to is Javon Leak next. Now, Javon Leak is a guy that I really liked coming out of Maryland. Again, I was more of an Anthony McFarlane guy. To one of my subscribers said, bad luck, take a look at his backfield mate. When we took Javon Leak, I was very excited. I know a lot of Giants fans thought he'd make the team. I felt like we were... Pretty low as far as like good backup running backs. You know, Deion Lewis is a veteran. Wayne Gallman's never really done much. And Saquon Barkley would need his workload lighten a little bit, perhaps, especially if it's a game like the other night where he's getting absolutely killed. Maybe you bring in a guy that has a change of pace. There was also talk about Javon Leak perhaps returning kicks, being on special teams, whatever. There was going to be a place for Javon Leak. He was standing out in Giants training camp, but Joe Judge decided ultimately that we needed depth at more positions, especially in the secondary, and they let Javon Leak walk, but he definitely left something out there that says, you know, we could definitely bring Javon Leak back to the practice squad. So is he next? I hope that Javon Leak makes his team. I really feel like Javon Leak could do something uh, if he was able to make the Giants. But again, Derek Dillon is back, and we'll see what he does. Again, you cannot teach that speed. I feel like we could use uh a speed guy like that and some facet of our offense we really don't have that burner i know darius uh slate runs a 439 and obviously he showed out in the first game again he he's going to be a star wide receiver i mean this this kid just continues to kill it every week and, and this time you know people know about him he's not taking anybody by surprise you're obviously looking at the film on him you know what he brings and he still is able to have over 100 yards receiving in that game against the steelers so you got that speedster but I just feel like you could do a lot of different things with, you know, uh, a guy like Derek Dillon, like I said, like they did with Tavon Austin. And, and maybe he does get on this team by the end of the year. And again, maybe Javon Leak comes back in, in some facet, makes the practice squad again. I would love to see him get a shot. I was very, I was very surprised when the Giants cut him. I, I really was. But I understand Joe Judge's reasoning behind that. We do need, with all the guys that left the secondary, McKinney getting hurt, we definitely needed secondary help. And you can still see with the way Ballantyne covered on Monday, we still need help in the secondary. There's no, no doubt about that. So I don't know if Javon Leak will be back here or not. I hope he is. But I understand why the Giants let him walk. Now, I am going to have a video on Allen Robinson when I get home from work. This is just a quick lunchtime video. I use the green screen and everything else. I've seen a lot of videos on Allen Robinson. I'll give you my take on that when I get home. But that's all I got, man. I just want to say Derek Dillon back in the practice squad. Will Javon Leak follow? I guess we're going to find out. I do think that both of these kids can make some kind of impact with the Giants. We'll see going forward. It's a long season. Till next time, guys, it's a bad diggity dizzle, and I am gone. Peace!